What's up, buddy? You're not moving too much. Well, that would explain it. Almost 30 degrees in the RV. Humidity's up a little bit today, but it is definitely a warm one. Hope you're needing deodorant today. Come on, let's just go. Hola! What a beautiful day. Zero clouds, not much of a breeze here in the lower mainland at our beautiful RV resort. Just gonna walk over to the mall and get some groceries. I mean, I'm gonna hike into town to get some provisions. It's quite handy that the RV resort is um, so close to everything that we can walk and save some money. Because money is something you're gonna need when you move to BC. should also mention that the RV park is also adjacent to a very busy water park here in the lower mainland. Great fun for, uh, for the kids, keep them cool on another day, but man, it gets a little crazy busy with vehicles and people and uh, yeah, noise. Even if you've never been to British Columbia, BC, people have probably told you what BC stands for, bring cash. And it's notorious to be a little more expensive. Now, I've found that, uh, well, you know, most necessity items, groceries, etc. if you were to rent an apartment, it would be probably on par with Ontario or anyway, two hours north of uh, Toronto in around that area. Prices for apartments in Vancouver, Burnaby, you know, the general lower mainland area are comparable. Uh, gas is obviously the big difference. 167.9 today, July 24th, 2021. Now, it's actually gone down a few cents in the past week, I do believe. Now, just to give you a little uh, insight, you know, $1.67.9, the average across Canada right now is $1.57 a litre. And Ontario, Ontario friends, I think, are paying about a buck twenty-six. In the states, it's about a buck twenty-six per liter, which is what four seventy-seven a gallon. So yeah, obviously we're a little bit uh, slightly above that for gasoline here in BC, which adds up in the RV. Now, to put another perspective on it, according to uh, a, a search I did today, the average price around the world is a dollar ninety-five a liter. So on average across the world we're not doing too bad and to give you another perspective in 2020 when i got my rv out of storage in ontario when was that april 2020 i filled it up at 67 cents a liter i kid you not 67 cents per liter and when i went to leave to come out here filled the tank for 77 cents i think the highest i paid coming across canada was in Kamloops before I even got here. I think it was $1.09 and I think it was $1.07 when I got here on May 29th, 2020. The entire trip, I believe, was about 900 bucks. I'm gonna do another video on that uh, in the next little while about the entire trip coming out here now that I've been here for just over a year in the lower mainland. So gas definitely is expensive. Groceries, wine, provisions that we're going for are a little more expensive as well. So you have to plan accordingly, but there is a way I can save you some money. I did mention that I'm gonna save you some money and I won't approve, apply to everybody who's, uh, who's watching this, but if there is an opportunity for you to come out here without a, a tow vehicle, a towed, uh, a car being pulled behind you, if you can put that off till you get here, it might be a good idea. Used cars are cheap, very cheap, and very decent as well. You know, this I bought um, back in January, 
It's a 2000 Mazda Protégé. Okay, a little bit of rust down here. But other than that, because there's a lack of salt on the roads out here, a 2000, it's got 280,000 kilometers. I paid $900 for it. So if you can wait till you get here, Instead of towing your car, another reason why you might not want to tow your car, if you're going to live in BC, you may have to pay a lot of money to get it certified and on the road. Just because BC cars, basically, you buy them and you take them, you get your license and you get your insurance the same place. They don't ask for a certification. If it's a BC automobile, you just pay for your insurance. Let's talk about insurance. What you save in your automobile, you're probably going to pay for insurance. So there's a bit of a trade-off. I just thought I'd pass it along if you can wait to buy a vehicle out here um, you're gonna save some money that you will need for insurance so to summarize yes BC does stand for bring cash but as my friend beef who moved here in 1998 I think he moved to Whistler hasn't left he loves Whistler I love his line about BC and bring cash you gotta pay to play